A hardware DMZ is a secure dividing line between your LAN and services facing the web. We'll go over the hardware DMZ settings on the Cisco RV340 series router on this edition of Tech Talks, next. A DMZ accepts all incoming traffic and allows outgoing traffic. It's a subnetwork that's open to the public, but behind a firewall. A DMZ allows us to redirect packets entering our WAN port to a specific IP address. We can configure the firewall rules to allow access to specific services and ports in a DMZ from both the LAN and the WAN. If there's an attack on any of the DMZ nodes, the LAN isn't necessarily vulnerable. It's recommended that we place hosts that must be exposed to the WAN, such as a web or email server, in the DMZ network. To configure the hardware DMZ, we'll navigate to the WAN option, then select the hardware DMZ. On this page, we'll click on the Enable checkbox to convert the LAN 4 port to a DMZ port on our RV340 router. If we were using an RV345 router, the LAN port 16 would be changed to a hardware DMZ port. As soon as we click on the Enable checkbox, a warning message will show up on the screen. This will say that the changes will take effect on the LAN port once we convert it to the DMZ port. We'll click Yes to continue. There are two options to configure the hardware DMZ, subnet and range. If we have a dedicated DMZ IP address pool, we can enter that information as well as the subnet mask info if we have any additional free public IPs from our WAN IP interface we want to use for the DMZ, we can enter that IP address range under the Range option. We'll then click the Apply button, which will save the configuration. And that's how to configure the hardware DMZ on the RV340 series router. Thank you for watching Tech Talks from Cisco. We'll see you next time.